So, hi guys, this is Sherry from National Zhonghua University of Education. Um, later, we are going to separate into two parts. For my part, I would um, introduce the school and my colleague, Ms. Huang, she will uh, introduce the Chinese Language Center program. So, let's get it started. So, um, um, in my slide, I would like to divide into um, different parts, which include location, uh, the profile of NCUE, and also the department that our school provides. And also, um, some students might be interested in the English Totes program. Um, also, the scholarship offered by our school and the application period, and also the Chinese program. So, people might heard about like Taipei, Kaohsiung, but where exactly is Zhanghua? Like Zhanghua is located at the central part of Taiwan, and this is where our school located. Um, it is um, the, the Zhanghua city is an important transport hub, and it is an hour away from Taipei, Kaohsiung, or even Taoyuan International Airport by Taiwan HSR. And it is also um, like 30 minutes drive to several industrial and science park. I think location matters for college students, especially students who are want to study abroad. Um, this is um, where our school located. And NCUE is very close to Zhanghua train station. Um, in, in Taiwan, most cities or counties um, have the train station. So if you get a chance to go to any train station, you could um, like be very convenient to travel around Taiwan. So NCUE originally focused on education only, but we have transformed into a comprehensive university in 1989. So many students like they see our school will be like, okay, so now if I don't want to be a uh, do to want to be a teacher, then I don't go to NCUE. So you are like probably wrong because now we comply with different departments, not just some um, like teacher training. So NCUE founded in 1971 as a college for teacher education, but now we are a comprehensive university, provide a full range of university degree programs. So if you are not considering become a teacher, NCUEs provide variety of choices. And if you want to become a teacher, NCUE is of course definitely a great choice. And NCUE is one of the three major universities cultivating teachers for the needs of junior, senior high schools, vocational schools, and special education. And it is approximately 30% of NCUE graduates become school teachers, while the other 70% works in a variety of other industry. As I mentioned earlier, NCUE has transformed into a comprehensive university. And there are seven colleges together comprise 21 departments. Later, I will give more um, introduction of it. So these seven colleges include um, College of Education, Management, Technology, Arts, Science, Engineering, Social Science, and Physical Education. And these colleges comprise with different departments. For example, in College of Education, we have Department of Guidance and Counseling, also Department of Special Education. And in management college, we have Department of Business Administration, Information Management, Accounting, and Finance. So in technology college, we have Department of Industrial Education and Technology. In arts college, we have Department of English, Chinese, Geography, and Arts. Also, we have um, Department of Mathematics, Physics, biology, chemistry in College of Science. What about in College of, in, what about the College of Engineering? We have departments of Mechtronic Engineering, Electronical Engineering, 
electronic engineering, computer science, and information engineering. Last but not least, in social science and physical education college, we have department of sports and department of public affairs and civic education. This is basically the brief introduction of what NCUE provides in departments, right? For this year, NCUE start to recruit students to apply international master program in engineering. It is a program for master degree seeking students. And it is an all English taught program for degree seeking students. So what does this um, master program provide? Let's take a look. So in Taiwan, industrial and science park, uh, mainly focusing on these fields, such as AI, 5G, IC, and M MES. Uh, for our international math program in engineering, we have supporting departments that's including uh, mechatronic engineering, which creates simpler and smarter system of machines, electronics, and computing. Also supporting by electronic engineering, we have IC design, networks, and communication system application, and micro in electronics. Also, electronic engineering is one of the supporting department in this master program, and also the computer science and informa information engineering. So these four departments support this international master program in engineering. Once again, it is an all English taught program. So if any student who are master degree seeking and would also like to join an all English taught program, it is one of the best choice. So in this program, they focusing on four fields, include Internet of Things and Integrated Circuits for Communication, Smart Manufacture, Integrated Circuits Design, and artificial intelligence. So these are basically um, the general idea of what NCUE have launched for this year. And um, our and College of Engineering has a lot of um, company that uh, work with us. So if students ever get a chance to um, join NCUE, and after you graduate, there will be a big chance that you could work into these famous companies in Taiwan. After I talk about the department, uh, the location of our school, the profile of our school, so what exactly if students want to join NCUE? Um, do we get any scholarship for students? The answer is yes. We do offer some scholarship for students. Um, if your status is overseas Chinese students, uh, we have um, one kind of scholarships. Um, however, if you are the degree seeking student, especially foreign students, we have another scholarship for you. I will um, illustrate more about it. If you are overseas Chinese students, and uh, we have new student enrollment incentive, which students recommended by the principal of high school with signed agreement of cooperation with NCUE can be granted tuition fee and on campus academic fee expansion for the first academic year upon enrollment and school review. Um, the academic fee and summer winter vacation excluded. Okay, so if you are foreign students, you could cho choose to get a scholarship of new student enrollment incentive. New student enrollment incentive for degree seeking foreign student tuition fee and on campus accommodation fee exemption for the first year. So, in other words, it means that if you are a foreign student and would like to join NCUE for the first academic year, the tuition 
and miscellaneous fee as waiver. Okay, and also like academic accommodation is guaranteed for the freshmen. Okay, and um, we also have um, scholarship for master and PhD student to renew their scholarship. It means that, um, for example, master student apply in a second year, tuition fee waived, free charge of academician for two semesters once awarded. So, if uh, let me make it clear, if you are a freshman, you are guaranteed to have the academician in our school, and also the tuition and miscellaneous fee waiver. Um, if you are a master or PhD student, the second year you could renew your scholarship. All right, so. Um, we do provide a variety of scholarships, so we um, encourage students to join NCUE. And for students who want to study in NCUE, the application period for students will be um, around Feb. Uh, if you are a foreign student, it will be around February to April. Um, and if you are an overseas Chinese student, we separate into three parts. We have independent admission, individual application, and joint placement. Um, for independent admission, the application period is from October to December. Um, for individual application, it's from November to December. And for joint placement is November to February, the next year, February. So if you have any other questions, we would have a QA at the end of the presentation, or you could write an email to me or contact me. And now I would like to give the floor to Ms. Huang to talk more about Chinese program in NCUE. Hi everyone, this is Nancy from NCUE Language Center. And I would like to introduce our Chinese program to all of you. And about us, uh, our language center was founded in 2008. And in addition to providing a wide range of Chinese language course, uh, 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 we also hold Mandarin related lectures and cultural exchange ac activities. So we commit to providing different types of Chinese language lessons and activities for foreigner students who comes from different countries. I just skip the videos. And like Sharon said, uh, we are located in the central of uh, Taiwan, which is Changhua City. It's very close to Taichung City. So uh, if you want to uh go around the taiwan is very convenient and we have two campus uh language center is located in Jingde campus which is uh, close to train station the language center is an independent building located outside the school and we providing an exclusive space for chinese language learning so this is our building we have the different types of classroom we, uh, for normal classroom and the computer classroom with multi-functional computer equipment. So we also set ultra short projector and smart interactive whiteboards for these two years. So our equipment is really new for students to use. And we also have the comfortable area open to every student. They can study or uh, talk with uh, teach, uh, students from other countries. Uh, they can use the free computers and can borrow the books from our mini library. So this is the types of Chinese program. The first one is seasonal Chinese program. They have four terms for well, uh, one year. So every formula will need to the visa for studying Chinese purpose. They can 
uh, apply for this kind of program. There's a online Mandarin course. It's also four terms for one year. So it's open for uh, the all foreigners from the worldwide. And the accredited Chinese course is open for every semester. This is kind of uh, Chinese courses for uh, NCUE degree students or exchange students. And we also have the Mandarin on the go tours and Mandarin and cultural study tours for the customized. So if you are a school or you and your families or friends, you want to have some different types of trips in Taiwan, you can also contact me to uh, arrange a Mandarin on the go tours for you. You can learn some Chinese and have fun in Taiwan. And this is our annual program plan for the Chinese program. Uh, you can see we we have uh, the, the class for a whole year. So anytime if you want to learn some Chinese or you want to visit Zhanghua, you can come and visit us or contact me to arrange a, a nice plan for you. So the uh, seasonal Chinese program is the uh, I think it's the best program for students who really want to enhance their Chinese abilities. And this is the features of our Chinese program. The first one, we all, uh, the, the class is all small. It's only five to 12 students in each class. And we have various options. We offer a class from the beginning level to an advanced level. So student will take a placement test before the term starts. So we put emphasis on all our language skill like listening, speaking, reading, and writing, also typing. And personal tutor, we will assign a tutor trained by our teacher for each international student. So tutors will arrange one-on-one -on -one academic counseling one hour per week. It's free for every student who enrolled in our seasonal Chinese program. And our cultural classes is including the paper cutting, calligraphy, calligraphy and Chinese painting and Christians like that. And we also have the, uh, the field trip for every session. And we will arrange for our students to visit other school with some activities such as Chinese speech or Chinese oral reading. Our course information and charge from like that. So like I say, we have four sessions for one year. They're spring, summer, autumn, winter. And if you want to come for a summer vacation, you can apply for the two month summer session. And the tuition fee is around 27,000 for uh, a session. And this is five, uh, 15 hours per week. You have to take the, the Chinese class. And for a new student, there's a new student registration fee for 1,000. Then there's other fees. If you want to uh, apply for our program, uh, you can visit our website to know more details. And this is the process for applying for our uh, program. You only have to uh, over 80 years old and with a high school or higher diploma for its equivalent. And you only have to submit the documents we ask. The first one is application form and your diploma and official financial statements and with your passport and photos submit it to our online application system and after we reviewed your uh, documents i will issue a admission letter to you and you can take that to apply for a visa also as scholarship 
then you can come to Taiwan. And now the border is open. So uh, if you want to study for more than two months, you can apply for our program now. And there's a, a scholarship for the student who wants to learn Chinese in Taiwan. It's called Huayu Enrichment Scholarship. The award value is uh, 25,000 per month. So it's really nice to student because our tuition fee is three months for 27,000. But you can get 25,000 for each month if you get the HES scholarship. And you can uh, apply for it by two, three, six, nine, months or one year as you wish and you can check the website of embassies or the representative office uh, for every uh, from January to February every year and the deadline for application is the end of March and the plan is start from uh, September or summer and because of the pandemic, so we also have the online mentoring course for our students. If you don't want to fly to Taiwan, but you want to learn some Chinese or you want to enhance your Chinese ability before you uh, fly to Taiwan or before you go to you have work, you can choose the online mentoring course so you can learn any, uh, every, anywhere and anytime. And, uh, and our uh, online course is live, so you can interact with the teachers and students from uh, other countries. So if you apply for our online mentoring course, you were asked to uh, fill out the course evaluation that we know your uh, demands and your background. And then we will ask you to do the online placement test. If you have learned Chinese before, then when you finish to pay, finish the payments, and we will also discuss the, your demand with you. And we uh, already host very many uh, online or online Mandarin course and uh, the online camps from the different uh, country, the students from different countries, and they all have fun with us on our online Mandarin course. And the, the course also uh, will have different level for students. Like I say, we will have the placement uh, placement test before class. So you don't have to worry about the, you will feel too easy or too difficult to, to you. You can have the, uh, if you have any question, you can let me know and I will help you. So uh, this is our uh, social media. So, we have Facebook, Instagram, and our website. So if you want to know more uh, information about our program or our class, you can uh, follow us. Uh, or if you have any question, you can uh, contact me and I will let you, uh, I will help you. And sometimes we will have some free Mandarin activities or free Mandarin online lectures that you can also join, join us. So follow us. <laughs> okay, so any question you can email me. Thank you. Thank you. Now we would like to open the floor for questions. All right, thank you very much. Okay, your presentation is very, very good, though. You know, I really enjoy. 
Okay, so at the moment, I don't have any question right now direct to me, but I think you will have the, some question direct to you via the, the booth, I mean the online booth, okay? okay? So anyway, just want to know like uh, at, at the moment, how many Thai students do you have um, in, in your school? Uh, for now, we have three Thailand students in language center. And we do three. have some degree-seeking students. I think like also three degree-seeking students. Wow. Okay. So you have the small Thai uh, student community. But anyway, I think in the near future, you will have more and more. Because right now, a lot of Thai students, they're looking for you know, to study in um, in Taiwan. And then right now they prepare themselves a lot. And the good thing is that the Taiwan government, they open the border for the student from international. So I think like uh, you're gonna have more. Thank, Thank you. you.